Little ponies can do big things. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing another behind the scenes stray from Daylight Twinkle Studios. This time I'm going to do an, an official behind the scenes on my Question Bill series. Which is just the paper models and kind of one of the sets. Now I did kind of do a behind the scenes last time. But it was basically just a quick sneak peek on my Equestria Railway model engine that was used in episode 2 Trouble on the Tracks. Which is just Thomas the Tank in, in disguise. So you guys probably probably already seen that. But now I'm going to do another behind the scenes on the Equestrianville series. And it's the paper models. And this little building which is one of the sets I used. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. We'll start with the house. Now, I first made this house and used it in my Lego Minecraft short uh, structure blocks that had C system in it. So yeah, that was the first time I used it. Then I used it in all sorts of stuff. I used it in... Sorry, I keep banging into that. Then I used it in my uh, Questionville series as Daylight Twinkle's house. And it was also used in my Lego Shrek Scares Off the Villagers remake too. If you guys seen all that. So yeah, I basically use this house for everything I make. Now, the Twilight Sparkle doll. Now this is pretty much the one and only MLP doll I have, so I don't need to make a paper model of her. Now I first used her in the first episode, which is Daylight and Zap Apples. And you guys know that I voiced all the characters, because I couldn't get any voice actors at the time. But now I did, and she made another appearance in episode 4. Our Swarming Special, voiced by Thomas and Friends 47. Now, I must say, he did a good job voicing her, so yeah. I also used to turn my My Little Pony the Movie remake, too. As well as this Paper Spike model, I used him for a Questionville episode 1, and I used him in the MLP movie remake, too, so yeah. That was the only time they were seen. Now, moving on. <laughs> Sorry if she keeps falling. So yeah, now moving on to the main characters. We start with Daylight Twinkle. Now, he is made directly from paper. I designed him myself. And the way I make them stand up, I put I just put sticky tack under them. So yeah, you probably would have noticed that and and stuff. So yeah, so yeah, that's that's daylight. Then here's a Cody, which is another paper model. And again, I did some. Oh, looks like he has some leftover sticky tack. So yeah, Cody and Setchwork were first introduced in episode two and were used for the rest of the series. Oh, and here's uh, the young version of daylight, which was used in episode three, the Daylight Chronicles. And here's a. Uh, the young version of T.P. Boomer, which was used in episode 3 too, and who is also voiced by Stitch Underground, and he did a good job. Also, if you haven't noticed, yeah, his feet kind of got ripped when I was taking the sticky tag off him, so yeah. But at least the rest of him is okay. Oh, and right here, here's the grown-up version of T.P. Boomer, which was seen in my Equestrianville the movie teaser trailer. And like I said before, I just put complete cancellation on the movie for now do the COPPA and the new change of YouTube coming January 1st, 2020, so yeah. I highly doubt I'll ever do it now, since comments will be gone from YouTube videos, or kid-friendly YouTube videos, all that stuff. I won't be able to talk to my YouTube friends anymore, all that stuff, so yeah. Well, it depends if it's not kid-friendly, okay, never mind. Alright, so now, then we move, we got Banjo. Which was voiced by me, and I just did the same thing, sticky tag, and designed them straight from paper. And same things with the rest, and here's Setchwick, voiced by C System. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I also forgot to mention Cody is voiced by Daffy Derp, so yeah, you guys probably know that by now. Here's the engineer voice, I mean, used in episode 2. Sorry if I said voice, but he was voiced by me, too. And here's the conductor, which was seen in episode 2, who can also be seen in the my Little Pony show itself, as well as the engineer, because you MLP fans should be able to recognize them. So yeah, those are basically all the paper models and one of the sets that I used in the Equestionville series. And that marks the end of this Equestionville behind the scenes video from Daylight Twinkle Studios. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.